I'm starting a stack of three 15 second exposures of the dumbbell. The gain is set to mid range 25. 15 second exposure. And I'm stacking three. That is two stacked there. That's three stack, three there. It's a little bit too much. I have to go with either less gain, shorter exposure. These are these are additive stacks, Rich. Um, they have an average stack feature and a additive stack. Additive keep, gets brighter and brighter until the number of stars in the stack is achieved. Uh, I'm going to try raising the black point a little to see if I can do that without causing chaos with the alignment stars. I raise the black point and gradually as the stack averages in three of the darker images, the whole image should get darker. Again, 15 second exposures, gain set to mid-range. You can see a little bit of the amp glow at the, at the left and bottom. That's because I didn't match the, uh, the darks properly. I'm going to try pushing the dark point up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to start cutting, clipping a little bit. Let's see what that does. So right now I'm around 20 to 200 with the histogram. And that's a stack of three 15 second exposures. Right now the dumbbell is 28 and a half degrees up. So I'm back synced on the dumbbell. I don't know how it gets off of sync. It says I'm tracking sidereal. <sighs> Pam is on. I gotta turn Pam off. Disable Pam. That might have been it. You may have been trying to force in a PEM curve that was in there from the old controller. And I don't have that in there anymore. I wonder, wonder, wonder if. No problem, Rich. I've just been uh, playing with the uh, the stacking. This is a stack of three 15-second exposures. Additive stacking, where it adds the three to get a brighter image than a single. 
I can disable the stack and you can see what the uh, a single looks like. That's a single 15 second. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had announced that I was going to be on. I know Connie was on early. I talked to Rock and he was going to try to come by, but he might have passed out. It was cloudy at his place and he, he, he wasn't going to get a chance to observe. Uh, Again, that's a single 15 second. I'm going to re-engage the stack. Hey, Lynn. <laughs> One less lurker. So if you've been hearing what I've been saying about the, how the stacking's been working. Yeah, this is a, a beta standalone little program that the program is sent to rock and me to test out and eventually it's going to be incorporated into Mallencamp Sky so that the Sky Raiders will a lot will, will have this average stack or additive stack feature right now that's two of two 15 second exposures that you're seeing now That's three. And right now, I think it's about 29 degrees up. I was going to go try to see if I could catch something. <sighs> Man, where's, where's M11? Okay, well, I'm going to try to go find me some ducks. Something shorter so I can... God, was it north and west or which way i got to move this? Uh... That was kind of correct. And was it west? Yes, it was. That should center it. So let me sink on the wild duck. Thanks, come sink. Okay, so now I'm in a five second mode, gain mid range. I'm clipping the black point. Let me move on back to zero to 200. And let me average Five. I mean, stack five. Stack five. Let's see. There's the first one, second one. Third one. Fourth one. Okay, that's a stack of five. Wow. That was a, an inspiring time. I was showing rock this morning. Uh, they had the last... Saturn S1C stage made by Boeing was scheduled for Apollo 19 and it was parked in front of the Mishu assembly facility uh, since the end of the Apollo program 
and they decided to move it to the Infinity Science Center in Mississippi right off of I-10. So they loaded it on a barge and transported it over there uh, where it's going to be set up, refurbished, repainted, and uh, set up to where people can, when they go visit the Infinity Science Center, they can actually go walk right up to the Saturn V. I was lucky because the summer of 69 I had a chance to work there as a student engineer for four months and I got to crawl around under the bottom around those F1 engines uh, so one being test fired at the Stennis Center it was it was a, a wonderful time well this is M11 and this is a stack of five five second exposures cool <laughs> let me stop this recording